Okay, so a lot happened last night. We did get out of the house, but then... We, we managed to figure out how to get out of the house, but clearly something else has to happen because it didn't lead to an escape. Oh, we have to turn that on. That's right. Alright, so. Keypad. Two, seven, eight. Figured out how to open the locker. The locker showed us something. Did it not? I haven't figured this out yet. Wait. Yeah, that, that's where the teal lock goes. Or the teal cord goes. I don't know the pattern of this, though. Something we probably have to figure out. Stay. So that's the locker. Do I have to try and do the same thing with this? Let's try it. So, get in here. Unlock that. Turn the power on. That unlocks... this Connects to, to that. Shit. Okay. how to do this. Because, hold on. Okay, that connects that. This.
There we go. Okay. And before the power went out. Okay, so now the teal, teal wiring is active. We need to go up here where the spotlight is. There's the power. Power goes out. I don't know what the solution is. So he's going to be coming pretty soon. He's coming. We must be missing some kind <coughs> some kind of context for that. The fuck? What is this? God damn it. I might need a hint. All right, Pete, give me a hint. So you met the guy who owns the house, Nest. Yeah. He's making like 15% cents this time. Sure made a big to-do about the machine in his attic. Should head up there and check it out. Pressing the buttons on that attic door, attic door machine seems to toggle both that button and the four, and the four to the top, bottom left, and right of it. What? Yeah. I guess you need to whittle away. To whittle away until it matches the pattern from the spotlight. Why are you helping me? 
Why do you think I would want to hurt you? Okay. So it was just kind of showing me what it was supposed to be doing. It needs to match this. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it now. I didn't know what pattern I was supposed to hit. I thought that was just the way the light was hitting it. Apparently that's... I should have I should have assumed that, honestly. Two seven eight. Turn this on. There's still a few things we haven't figured out, like how to solve the pump down there. Uh, right. Into the living room. Fuck. Living room. Nope. Living room. Does that? Okay, there's that. to do this puzzle anymore. Okay, so that connects only to that. screwed that up. Ah. 
There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay. So we did that. We have a little bit of time. Wait, 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 wait. I think I got it. I'm going to lose again. <laughs> yeah, he's coming. God damn it. We're just going to hide in here and wait for that to go off. <coughs> because I think... I think I can burn him with the steam. Because that'll start going off.
He found me. Yeah. God damn it. Cliff sure was giving you a hard time last night, huh? You mean when he was ribbing me about burning to death? I think he thought that he was helping. Tough love. He could have at least apologized. Pretty sure he was waiting for me to thank him. Anyway, thanks for sticking up for me. I really appreciate it. Of course. You would have done the same for me. Ouch. Remember the time we were trapped in Bro Brockridge Mall waiting for the storm to pass? Huh, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I was just thinking about it. Maybe because of the torrential rain. The parking lot was shaped like a bowl with the mall at the center. And the sewers clogged at the whole and the whole thing flooded. They wheeled in a generator to keep the lights on while they waited for the city to bring in a pump to drain all the water. It took so long we ended up having to stay the night. I remember trying to sleep with the sound of the generator, as if the worry wasn't already keeping me awake. Yeah, for a while you seemed really stressed. You were sure the dome, you were sure the dome would break and water would pour in. Like it was the end of the world or something. You weren't scared? I didn't love it, but I think I like getting closed off like that. Always nice to have fewer variables, you know? Being able to focus on one big scary unknown kind of distracts from all the other little unknowns. Try to think about it when one of those CD-ROM puzzle games we used to play. That's really smart. I almost let all the worry get to me, but you were so cheerful, so brave, that I ended up having kind of a good time. Even though, you know, we could have drowned. Emily? Are you okay? Yeah, I... Just wondering what would have happened if it, if it had kept flooding, if the city hadn't been able to stop it. Like, could we have done anything about it? Or would, would we just be out of luck? Why are you so suddenly so worried about something that, that already happened? Sure, things went fine that night, but what about next time? You mean next time we're trapped in a flooding mall? Do it again. Go downstairs. Oh, come on.
There we go. Ah. <sighs> Starting to not like that puzzle. Oh, no, come on. No, go through there. Oh my god. The fucking camera. Yeah, he's coming again. God damn it. Open the door. Oh my god. Uh, I just want to solve that puzzle. Don't the other kids seem like strangers to you? Hmm? Something kind of naive about them. It's quaint in a way, but it's so unlike how I remember them. The attic door machine might be easier to solve if you work backwards from the solution. How do you press those buttons so that it ends up in the configuration from the spotlight? That's what I'm trying to figure out. All right, let's go through this whole ordeal again. <clears throat> in the correct configuration. That was a very inefficient direction to go. Okay. Those don't need to be touched anymore. Is 
Here we go. God, I don't like how uncomfortable the controls are. It's like old school tank controls. Work backwards. I'm about to look up the solution. This is driving me fucking nuts. Because I know what the solution is, but I don't know what the fuck... How to get to... Oh my god. How to get to it. It's starting to irritate the shit out of me. <laughs> again. What the fuck was that? What? Someone else see that? Okay, that was weird. Why is he in my car? Francine. Remember that nursing home pamphlet, Francine? What was the title on that one? Blades of Grace? Melancholy Place. Pet friendly for piss pad lap dogs only? Yeah, that was it. I was just thinking about how ridiculous that come to Jesus turn was. I think about that brochure a lot. It said that a family member passing is a moment of awe. Please. I remember that. Pretty weird. As if watching someone straight up die is some amazing thing. They're confused, and they're scared, and it's small and sad, and the room smells like rubbing alcohol, and that's it, and it's done. Man, I miss when that, pa I miss when that pamphlet was funny. I found something else about Parker Nest. Oh yeah? Plans for some kind of project. Like, he was building a machine. The materials were like copper wiring, a glass porthole, tungsten lining. I'm sorry, what? Tungsten lining? What were they building? A particle accelerator? Right? It sounds like some kind of experimental torture device. Oh wait, the plans must be for the accumulator. Gosh, what have we stumbled into? Nest was an artist, right? Maybe this was for an installation or something. Possibly possible, I guess. Seems like pseudoscience to me, though. I thought Nest was eats three almonds a day and he'll live forever unusual. Not this. This is something else. It 
Signs for an utter statement about the hydraulic pumps in the house. Like the one in the bathroom? Yeah, I think so. Turns out they're actually filled with blood. Blood? Like gallons of it? I guess not, but like a little bit of blood. So the people that lived in this house just wanted to put their signature on it? Seems, seems that way. I think it's some kind of metaphor. Anyway, it kind of paints some of the other mad science, scientist stuff we've seen in a different light. Still weird, though. How come you're spending all your time up, up in the study, Francine? Hmm? We're on a weekend trip with a group of friends. We don't see that often. Everybody's downstairs enjoying an evening together, and you're alone reading this guy's book collection. What's got you so interested in him? In Nest? I don't know. It just seems like... It just seems like he's lived a fascinating life. I can't claim to have any particular interest in the culture he was part of, but there's something appealing about a primary source. We've got, ac we've got access to everything there is to know about him. The answers are all here. It's been good seeing it, the other kids, but we'll have plenty more time together. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be able to sit here reading these books forever. Oh yeah. Designs for a lightning rod. This house is in the middle of nowhere, M. Lots of houses have lightning rods. Yeah, but I mean, it sounded like Nest wanted to send the power somewhere to use it for something. I guess that does paint a stranger picture, yes. A picture of a Tesla coil cra crackling with electricity. You asked me why I was so interested in Nest. How about you, Emily? Why are you so in doing so much digging? I feel like we're living in this guy's history. I can't help but be curious about him. It's a very sweet justification for this invasion of privacy. But Emily, you're, you just got here. You haven't even unpacked your bag. That's true. I guess I'm just curious about him, too. At some point in the 80s, Nest had some high-tech security installed. High-tech for the time, at least. But... After living in this house in the middle of nowhere for such a long time, who could he have been trying to keep out? Or in? The note mentioned something about Cage in the cellar. I can't tell if it's some kind of special creepy paranoia or just normal old guy paranoia. Creepy piece of writing about transformation. I saw that one. I think Ness left it out in the, in the hopes we would read it. Kind of insidious, isn't it? Talking about shedding the husk you're trapped in and becoming something new or whatever. It's pretty culty, yeah. And it mentioned the transformation coming from lightning. Does this have something to do with the lightning rod? Yeesh. His daily schedule. Nest's daily schedule. It was broken down hour by hour or sometimes even minute by minute. Pretty obsessive. A lot of confusing stuff about meditation and ideation and dream realities. Hmm. Do you think it was more sinister or pretentious? It can be both. Talk to you later. Yeah, we know a lot about the dude. Alright, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube at a later date, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.